Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Eddie Grand is in, in an interesting position after returning to the Kentucky football staff in a new capacity, special assistant to the head coach. He sat down with Anna to talk about his new role and how it felt to be back on UK sideline last Saturday. Welcome back. What has it been like to return to Kentucky? It's been pretty awesome. You know, I was telling Mark on Saturday uh, when I walked through that tunnel and uh, I got onto the field, I had goosebumps and uh, it was a different experience being on the sideline watching it, but uh, I've, been, I've been really juiced up here the last 72 hours and really excited to be back at BBN. Is that when you got here about three days ago? Yeah, my first day was really kind of that Friday uh, leading into the game and uh, was introduced to the team. And then I got to go to the game and, and obviously be on the sideline and different experience there, but uh, I loved it. And um, Sunday was a, a long day and, and I've been on a sabbatical here for a, for a couple of months. So uh, yeah. uh, it was just great to get back into the thick of things and uh, be around the, the players. What was it like being on the sideline, not in a coaching role? Like, did you have to fight down urges to want to give advice? What was that like? Not so much advice. It was just, I feel the, the struggle sometimes of coaches, whether it be offense, defense, special teams, head coaching, and, and just seeing all the different facets that he has to deal with. Uh, and when you're sitting back and you don't have all that stress, you know, it just, it's, it's weird how things slow down. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a little bit interesting to me as I was watching. Now you're going to be in an off the field role, special assistant to Coach Stoops. What exactly does that mean? What will you be doing? I think it's going to be a lot of big picture um, things for him. Uh, maybe be a little bit of a liaison with Mark Hill, Mitch Barnhart, um, oversee some some different things as we move forward. Uh, also engaging in these players, especially the young ones. Um, you know, when they're, they're red shirted and some of them that aren't playing, you know, I can get, have, really have some great opportunities to visit with them, not only just about academics, but life. Uh, and uh, me being a football coach as well, you know, there's gonna be some similarities and hopefully I can help out that way. But uh, I think a lot of different things are gonna uh, unveil as we move forward. Who approached who about coming back here? Well, you know, it's really weird because I came to a couple practices and we just got to talking and, uh, you know, it just, I don't know, it just kind of developed as uh, a couple months went by and um, he knows I was itching to get back to work. And uh, you know what, it, it was just kind of uh, a God thing. It just kind of worked out and uh, nobody really expected it. And uh, so I'm, I'm honored that he would ask me and I'm excited to be here. Just describe the roller coaster of you're terminated by a close friend from a place you love, but then you're invited back. I'm sure there's hard moments or awkward moments. What has that been like? What has it felt like? Humbling. Um, you know, you have to get your pride out of the way. Pride is, is, is it can really get you and you can fight with that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is about people. It's about the coaches. I love going in there and walking down the hall and. And if I can juice those coaches up and I know what they're going through and uh, however I can help, you know, I just thought there might be a role there for me. Is it weird? Yes, it was a little bit weird, but uh, you know, you got to get through all that. And uh, I just think it's a great opportunity to uh, be around young men, help them grow. Uh, coaches and whatever I can do for Coach Stoops, I'm going to do. A lot of people have said it took great humility to do that, to come back. What was your first conversation with Liam Cohen like? Uh, he's the first person I went and saw, as a matter of fact. Uh, I got to see him on a Friday morning. He was kind of getting ready and going through his call sheet and stuff, and I shut the door and uh, I just said, hey, coach, man, I'm here for you in any capacity. I'm, I'm not a football coach. This is off the field, uh, but uh, if you want to bounce some things off me, if you want to come scream in the office when things don't go good or, you know, just I'm, I'm here for you. And I just wanted him to know that uh, that's my only role here. That I'm, I'm here to serve him. What was the reception like uh, from former players when they found out you're coming, or for current players, but you were current and former? It was, yeah. it was really cool. Um, they, they've been fantastic. I uh, had a lot of texts from the former players, uh, some from the NFL, and uh, you know, they're excited about it. They just know how much, I think they know my heart, and they know how much I love Kentucky. Um, I love this community, and uh, so that, that part was really fun, the, 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 the warmth that I felt from uh, the players and the coaches. 
you know, I'm, I'm pretty tight with some of these coaches here and, and, and they're excited to see me back in the building as well. You did mention that, that Kentucky was just such a special place for you and you love it here. What makes it different from other places? The biggest thing is probably the, the relationships that uh, I've uh, developed outside the community, um, within the community, if you will. Uh, you know, I've got friends here that if I wasn't a football coach, they'd be my friends. And that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a neat um, thing to say. And uh, I know right now, if, if I wasn't coaching football and I stayed in Lexington, uh, it, nothing would change. Uh, and that's a great feeling. And uh, just working with Children's Hospital with Mark, because of the situation with, with my daughter and people that know that in this community. Um, you know, Children's Hospital has been phenomenal. And I, I want to continue to help in, in every way I can there. Uh, but I think it's just so much the people, you know, you got you got Keeneland, you know, you've got uh, the bourbon, you've got uh, football, you've got basketball, you've got just BBN. Uh, there's just something about it that makes it special. When Grand's new position was officially announced, Mark Stoops released this statement saying, quote, I'm grateful to have somebody with the experience of Eddie Grand rejoining our program in a different capacity. Eddie has a wealth of experience in many different areas. He'll be an asset to me and our program, end quote. More football talk still ahead here on BBN Tonight. Quandary Mosley joins the show right after this.